G here from OG Creations. It's everyone's favorite time of year again, a Sean's birthday. This year, my little best friend will be turning 12. One of his favorite pastimes is setting on his poof, calling for imaginary friends to visit him, and being afraid of the wind when it blows through the bushes. I purchased his current poof two years ago for the Sean and Space themed 10th birthday party. I've washed the cover a couple of times, but the poof itself is a little musty smelling, probably from nap time drooling, which means it's time for a new one, and I thought it would be fun to ice dye it as one of his gifts. I am unboxing a grade A 100% woven cotton round poof in solid white that I purchased from Zazzle.com. Now I'm a germaphobe and it's only gotten worse over the last two years. So before I start work on any of my tie-dye, the garment is always washed and dried. This removes anything that might have gotten on it from shipping and provides a clean material for the dye powders to adhere to. As I've said in past videos, the geo technique takes more than a bit of time, so I'll speed the two hours up of tying to about 7500%. To create a fun geode pattern, I gather small sections of the material and rubber band it, move down an inch or so and rubber band again. I repeat this over and over and over and over again until I feel the garment is complete. I then soak the cover in a soda ash water bath for about 25 minutes and let it drip dye for 12 to 24 hours. I start applying the dry dye powders in hues of Ashan's favorite color, turquoise. The colors that I'm using here are Nebula Navy, Robin's Egg Blue, Turquoise, Teal Blue, and Brush Steel. Once I'm happy with the placement of the dies, I apply a light layer of soda ash and then create a barrier around the cover using tin foil. Next I place ice cubes on top of the material and apply one more light layer of soda ash before setting aside for 24 to 48 hours in a 65 to 70 degree area. The cover is then rinsed in cold water until most of that water runs clear before I start untying all of the rubber bands. It is then ran through a washing machine using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. Once it's dried, it is ironed and placed back on the poof. It turned out great. The colors are bright, the fabric soft, and Ashan is going to have a new place to curl up for a long afternoon nap. One look in those yellow eyes and my heart melts. Happy birthday, Plus Plus. 
I hope you love it half as much as I love you. I post new content every Friday, so make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see created next.